Today, we are going to cover a very important topic, the TTI bundling. Basically, this is the name of LTE feature, which is very important for Volte services. Almost all carriers in globe who are providing the Volte services in the network are using this feature. It is not the WCDMA where we have the two different technologies. One is for voice, one is for data, which is called like CS and PS. In LTE, voice calls are also the PS data. There are no CS and PS. In LTE, everything is PS, whether it is the voice or data. Okay, so let's talk about that. So if you remember the control flow, control message flow, in normal case, when network send a grand message on DCI0, UE transmit PUSCH at only one specific subframe, which will happen after four milliseconds when you receive the DCI0. TTI bundling is the method in which UE transmit a PUSCH in multiple subframe in a row. According to the current specification, it's a uh, four subframe. Or we can say the UE transmit a PUSCH in a bundled TTI. So uh, in this figure, I'm trying to explain you in a graphical way. Some people say this is a waste of resources. Then why we require this? And the answer is this method will increase the possibility of the data reception, right? Then they may ask, okay, we already have the HRQ technique. And if the destination will fail to receive this packet, then through ACNAC or DTX, retransmission can be done and data delivery will be guaranteed. This is a perfect way for normal data packet transmission. But because this kind of data retransmission technique creates some delay. And if we talk about the services which require very short delay, like Volte, this kind of delay will affect the user experience. For example, a UA is in poor coverage area where the packet loss possibility is high. So the TTI bundling would be very useful in this situation because it increased the probability of the data reception with the less time delay. So what is the principle for this technique? Same data is transmitted in four consecutive TTIs resulting in SINAR again under certain conditions. Theoretical gain is um, 3 dB. Next, uh, only one grant is required for PUSCH transmission in four TTIs. Only one HARQ feedback per bundle is required. Lesser RLC, MAC header and CRC overhead because we are bundling all the TTIs and then we are forwarding. So it will reduce the headers plus the L1 and L2 signaling will also be reduced. So here is a statement about the TTI bundling. When TTI bundling is configured, the parameter TTI bundle size provide the number of TTIs of that TTI bundle. TTI bundling operation relies on the HARQ entity for invoking the same HARQ process for each transmission that is a part of the same bundle. Within a bundle, HARQ retransmission are non-adaptive and triggered without waiting for feedback from previous transmission according to the TTI bundle size. The HARQ feedback of the bundle is only received from the last TTI of that bundle, regardless of whether a transmission of that TTI takes place or not. A retransmission of a TTI bundle is also TTI bundle. TTI bundling is not supported when the UE is configured with one or more serving cell with configured uplink.